this play along, we're going to introduce your first real beat, and we're going to be playing down beats in the right hand, and very simple bass drum pattern and snare drum pattern as well. This beat will work on many, many, many tunes, so you can start playing this to tunes on the radio or put your iPod on shuffle and start playing along to things as well and start getting comfortable playing this because this beat will fit to just about every song that there is. You want to be aware a little bit of technique as well. You know, if you're excited to start playing the drums, you want to make sure that you're not walloping the hi-hat and really overplaying. You want to get a nice full sound, but you also want to stay relaxed and you don't need to overdo it right out the gate. So keep that in mind while you're starting to do these as well. This play along is in a pretty heavy rock kind of style, so you want to maybe open up the hi-hat a little bit, but remember, don't hit it too hard, stay relaxed. And then when you're coming down and hitting these back beats on the snare drum, you want to make sure that you're not clamping down too much on the stick and you're not getting too much tension because that can really cause damage to yourself in the long run. So with all of these tunes, you want to play what's written at first to get a feel for the tune, and then you can go back and play things that give a little bit more expression and a little bit more creativity, especially as you go through some more of the later lessons in the book. You can come back to these and start to add a little bit of what you've learned and get a little bit more experimental and expressive with these. I'm going to take this same play along and now get a lot more open with it and start to add some of the things that I do in my playing. No matter what playing level that you're at, some of these very basic tracks can be very useful going back and playing some of your ideas on them and it's going to be good for your time and it's going to be good for your musicality as well to get creative and try to put some of your own expression into these. You want to make sure that you record yourself. This is a very, very useful tool. You can listen back and hear what you're really doing. Remember, the tape doesn't lie. So. Nowadays, there are many different types of devices you can use that don't necessarily use tape anymore, but you can get all kinds of different devices and record yourself and make sure that you're playing in time and that it feels good and that your sound is happening as well. Don't overlook these super simple beats 
because in a lot of sessions, even some of the top level cats have to come into a session and if this is what the producer wants, you're gonna have to do it. And you're gonna have to do it in the first or second take and if you don't do it no perfect from the beginning to the end without any stumbling or any kind of fluctuation, they're gonna call somebody else. So even though this stuff is very simple, it's a lot more challenging to nail it and do it no perfect from beginning to end than it may seem at first glance.